Holograms. First off, you need to insert an image using the Images as Planes add-on. In the shader editor, switch the input going into the alpha to color. Add a mix shader and emission shader and put the image into the emission shader color. This gives the hologram a glowing effect. Set the factor to 0.4. Now add a brick texture. Input it into the emission shader. Put the frequency at 99, the scale to 55, and the mortar size to 0.05. Now play around with the colors on the brick texture. I found that the mortar being pitch black and the two brick colors being very light worked really well. Now add a bright contrast node to the brick texture. Put the brightness at 6 and the contrast at negative 7. This helps give the hologram much more detail. Setting the brick width to a higher value gives the hologram a less blocky look and instead a more streaked texture. Add another mix shader and input the glass VSDF into the bottom input. To maintain the color of the picture, plug it into the glass color input. Now set the factor to 0.2. Once again, add a mix shader. Put a transparent VSDF in the bottom input. Insert a gradient texture and put it into the factor. Plug in a color ramp node and invert the two values. Change the gradient to spherical. Insert a mapping node into the gradient texture. Now using the texture coordinate node, plug the UV into the top socket of the mapping. Set both X and Y to negative 0.5. Now we have a transparent gradient effect on the outsides of the hologram. However you set up the color ramp node is up to you. But personally, I found what I did worked best. Now an extra thing you can do is apply a solidify modifier to the hologram. Set the thickness to 0.04 and click apply. Now go into edit mode. Slightly offset one of the faces. This gives it a slight blurring look. Now I hope this tutorial helped you in any way possible. I hope to see you in the next one.